My favorite thing about the mechanical engineering field is how broad it is. There are so many opportunities and career paths available that I am not afraid of ever being bored. And during my previous internship experiences with both government research and industry settings, I've met numerous professional mechanical engineers, all with very, very different career journeys, despite all having the same degree. So although I have a plan for how I'm going to enter this field, it's kind of exciting not knowing where I'm going to end up. One of my favorite classes at UD has been Clinical Immersion, which is a biomedical engineering course that I took during the winter semester of my junior year. I was able to apply an engineering perspective to clinical problems to help create new solutions for the orthotics and prosthetics industry. It's hard to pick just one favorite memory um, throughout these four years, but I think I'd have to give it to my freshman floor. These are the kids that I'm closest with still to this day, and whether it be hanging out in the hallways or going to the dining halls for food or watching movies in the lounge or honestly anything else, I would go back to those days if I could. During my time at UD, I had the opportunity uh, to transform myself from being a very impatient student to a very patient and more curious researcher. And now, as an assistant professor at the University of Wyoming, I would like to take these values and train my students to do world-class computer vision research. If I was to describe how I've changed at my time here at UD, it would probably be towards the end of my semesters. Um, as I'm approaching graduation, I started to realize that it is a good concept to understand how to persevere. So it really helped me to know that all things are possible to a person that believes. To the class of 2023, I would like to say congratulations to all of us. We've been through so much during our time here. We accomplished everything that we did regardless of COVID and every other obstacle that we had to climb over. I wish everyone the best in everything that they're going to be doing moving forward. If I had to say anything for people to actually remember is that the current life expectancy is like 78. We can expect by the time we get there before it to be about 88. And because like we're engineers, we're college educated, I'd say around 100 we can probably expect life expectancy. So that means every single year is a percent of your life. A percent is a very big number. I say do not let a single year go by that is not memorable.